sweet rod right there. This is a maintainer body. They lock out too, so if you're leaning the other way, they'll stay out. Look at that, Nick. 316 solid steel doors. They're stout. They got that is. I think that's all steel. Butterfly latches. These are nice doors now. That's nice. Regulator and louver right there. That's cool. What's the capacity on your crane? Uh, 10,000. <laughs> 25 foot of reach. It's a nice body. Thank you. They're building up quite a reputation that doing, you know, there's a lot of people talking about South Star anymore. Yeah, they are. Hey, it's, it's really cool. You're putting effort into it, ain't you? Yeah, we're trying to do our best, man. We're, we keep trying to innovate and we're not sitting now, back. Now, you put plenty of emphasis on uh, on maintenance, right? I mean... Uh, Service, yep. Mm -hmm. no, that's been our success in Canada, is we made sure that we could support this from day one. That's half the thing. There's no point in selling a machine if you can't. I like this. There is a lot of moving parts on one of these. Yeah, Thank exactly. You. Is anybody using this stuff any in hardwood? Hardwood? Yeah. Yep, this is a hardwood set up here for the bark and eucalyptus. Yeah, that's what a eucalyptus because the, the What's eucalyptus tree. compared to an American tree? Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm from New Zealand, so gotcha. I'm not too familiar with. Is it a really hardwood, the eucalyptus? Yeah, like so beech. Or you all got beech over there. Huh? Y'all got beach over there and stuff, don't you? It don't compare to not near as tough as beach, is it? Uh, no, I'm not too sure. Or Germany. I guess Germany's got the beach, huh? Or yeah, yeah. Germany's got the beach. No, we have eucalyptus. And yeah, it, it's pretty cool to watch that, watch that log spin yeah. through there, and that, that eucalyptus just, just spills it right off. Strings, yeah, just yeah. Strings Does it debark like... stuff other than eucalyptus? Yeah. Or I, would pretty much. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't, because of the yeah. way that's... Goes now you through can the lock log everything. And yeah. yeah, it cuts even a fur bark. Yeah. And then when it, it's got another set here that's going the other way, yeah. so it, you directional. Yeah. How long does it take here. to wear them then? To wear it through the wheels. Yeah. Oh, a long time. Long time. They're all, all these bars here are hardened. Right. So that they last. Last longer. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they should last. Eight, ten thousand, fifteen thousand hours. Wow, really? Wow, that's cool. Where, where are these made out? Uh, so they're made in Canada and in New Zealand. Okay. <laughs> that's very interesting. And that don't that don't tear up the cambium layer then? No. When you just go through enough to get rid of the bark. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Can I get you my own log truck? Oh, are you tired? Are you hungry? Do you need a strawberry lemonade? Yeah. Yeah, now they're even making a, a drifter for in the summer when the heat catches down. 
and just runs, you know, you just hang three chokes off of it, like 40 foot long chokers, mm -hmm. one of them holes, and then it's what they call a gravity cage. You just grab it in back and slap the skyline down, set your chokers, pick it up, and bring it in. Because then the, and the, when, the, when the heat hits, you know, one o'clock closure or whatever, we can't run them. Yeah, because yeah, they throw sparks. Right. Like a twin disc clutch or right. Harley Davidson or something, they're used to paying for that name. Right, right, exactly. Well, and I think part of the price, you know, that one guy quoted Paul. They got or, the corner market, or the market right. cornered. Yeah. Right, he said a hundred, like a hundred thousand into it, but that's them doing it. Yeah. So I sure you guys do it yourself. Yeah. You're gonna save forty thousand. Especially if I get a used one. See the thing is, see here's a mistake we make. We get the wrong used one. Cause I'm sure there's one out there that no, you don't need to be getting that model. You know what I mean? Right, you only know that right, from experience. Right, right exactly. <clears throat> What do you think of them style cabs? I really haven't been around them that much. It's set in something, you can see your tracks, that's what it is. Right. Yeah, I see what these, they've got yeah. the windows down below, so, and that's where our link belts don't. You can't see that track, mm -hmm. I don't like that. You can in that one though, can't you? Yeah. Hi. Howdy! Don't fall out there. Be a long way down. Yeah, with these here, see, and it's even guarded, so if you poke something up in there, but you can see down yeah. see both corners, and that's, like I say, that link belt we got, that I fight that a lot. Especially shovel on there. Is there any certain thing you call them taller grouser? Just double pads? bar. Yeah, but you said your loader had the shorter double bars. Right. Or was it, that just uh, wore down? No, they were, uh, this is what you call your shovel log and package. Shovel log and package. Yeah, okay. and they're a little bit taller. You just mm -hmm. regular loading pads are going to be are going to be smaller. And gotcha. Less Shovel log and pads. Gotcha. Yeah. And then, and then like yours, we call those road trips. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you know, walk them down the pavement, and they don't make any. They bend easy and they're junk. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You get up on a stump and bend that. Mm -hmm. You can bend the whole pad. And those are only. These are quarter, I think those are eight inch thick. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's even more, a little bit more than a quarter. Yeah, that's half, that's half, it's half, so those are probably a quarter. Mm -hmm. Here you can tell a little wrap. Hello. We're up pretty close to the main building by the... Uh, oh, big mama like that. Get that for Big Mama. <laughs> Put your little cat to shame, doesn't it? Yeah. She can take she can jump in there and set that little knuckle beam out of the way and then pull this right in there. If she's real nice to me, I'll haul it for her. <laughs> Yeah, that's good show along there. Real good self-cleaning. And so that when they and you want to go with your motors. Uh -huh. If you you know you keep your motors downhill from you, so the motors be on this end, but when the track comes around, where way it breaks you, that's why they call it self-cleaning, because then the mud falls. Oh, okay. It's supposed to. We all know how the mud around here is. So. It doesn't always just work fall out. Yeah. I thought you worked off of the, your front idlers. You work off your back idlers? Well, yeah, when you're downhill, keep your motors downhill. Keep your motors downhill? Yeah, so that way when you're coming back mm. up, you know, because when, you, when, you, when you're coming back up, it pushes more than it pulls, is the way I was told. See, like, see how that thing's got, that track's got the bow in it? Uh -huh. That is optimal. Because gotcha. when they, you look at this one, it's tight. Uh -huh. So when they stopped it, they traveled in this way. So the motor was pushing it, so it pushed all the slack out of it. When they parked that one, they were going with the motors. So when they stopped, then you've got the slack in your uh -huh. track, and you're not working that metal all the time. Yeah. So like if you're just sitting there loading, it's got that slack in it, and you're not rubbing it all the time. You know where this one being tight. That, that's what they mean by keeping your motors downhill. 
so that when you stop, it throws the slack into the track. And it, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be better on them. I don't know. I've you know, and and to each their own. You know, I've had yeah. guys that say no, go downhill with the idlers. The, yeah. My boss wants the motors downhill so that we're slowing the or throwing the the, the slack to it when we stop. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Interesting. belts are comparable to that size, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our 370s are. The, the 290s more comparable to the... Just a faller, you know, yeah. you'd tree length everything, but hell yeah, that one. You know, with most of ours, we're running the processor anyway, so falling at tree length is it's cheaper and for you, us to you go. You still tree you still say on a site that you're gonna run processor on. Right. Do you still hand cut them or are you ever processor? No, no, them? they they we got two bunchers. Oh, gotcha. So so you're bunching them at that right. point. Yeah. Yeah, they'll, yeah, any job that we can bunch, we bunch and, and then run gotcha. processors behind them. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's cheaper for us to, to fall. Truck nuts. I'm calling you. Yeah. I was like, Howdy's right here beside me. <laughs> All right, come here, Bob. <laughs> Well, you never answered. <laughs> that is a big motion. Big. Man. Yeah. Do what? Yeah, that guy worked for Tim Card. I worked for him quite a while. He buys a lot of good new equipment. He's not afraid to spend money. Huh. So did we get Jacob? I asked him. I'm calling him. Tell hey, where's your dad? These guys ain't camera shy. Now, what do y'all go under? Wheelchair farmer. Wheelchair farmer. And uh, me, I go under Gerald Beard. Gerald Beard. Yes, sir. Gerald Beard. So we got these fellas on here. Oh, let me get old boy on here. I never got him on here earlier. <laughs> what do you go by? Oh, you don't get, you are not on there. Nope. He's not I a comment, watch. but he watches. Just watch. <laughs> he watches, probably cusses us behind the scene. I don't know. No, I don't I don't do that. What are they doing that for? <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. You put the 750 saw, yeah, that, that's a good saw. Oh, that's a good setup. So this is the difference, that's why they're so big now. Okay. We took the hose, 
We removed oh, the yeah, outside hose. About this. Yeah. yeah. So we removed that outside hose. Yeah. And we gun drill the inside. Ah. So now your fluid runs up and down in here. Oh, that's no cool. Hose tear off. And where your hoses are is up here. Both the. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So could I, I could retrofit mine when I'm sold. Yes, you yeah, can. Yeah, but I would get one that don't have the hose. You didn't get my leg? Yeah. No, oh, that, I just okay. put my hand over it. <laughs> I should have got some of the conversation. We're here at the road event, guys, hanging out. We're going to get your picture clicking with the grapples and stuff. Is that cool? Do you paint them and just keep them in the, you know, to where you can take them out? Every, every show? Yep. Yeah, we do that. It's the second year we do that for that show. And, uh, we do other things at other show as well. In Richmond, we did a NASCAR grapple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've seen the, that one, I'm thinking of. The Paul Bunyan show. We, out my way, I think I'll get No, I never put a float valve on it because I like it. Yeah. It's my tail rudder. That, uh, that, that spin, they got a lot of torque on them. Yeah. It's got a lot of Well, but just for like shoveling, it would go into a free mode like a Right. Well, then but you when can you get up there and up. you're trying to throw something up the hill, yeah. that's your power boost. Yeah. You kick on it and it'll shove you up the hill. Oh, okay. It makes yeah. a difference. It do make a difference. Well, you mean like trying to get the, get the free up the hill? Or? Absolutely. Huh? He was talking about uh, when he first started getting <laughs> on YouTubes and stuff. And uh, Boy, you got a hold of me. Yeah. And asked me, he got a hold of me and asked me, he said, well, getting started with this thing, you got any words of advice or something? Yeah, Which I don't yeah, got no yeah. real advice, just go after it. How to do, yeah, what yeah. to do. And, and, yeah, it's just... Uh, but he said he watched the dag on the log, log bridge. The, the log God, bridge. That, was, that was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love them with Crummy. Yeah, ten four. They took Crummy literally. Yeah, <laughs> yes they did. They oh, and there's, there's some outfits around this country that their Crummies are... Oh lord. The, the doors are bungee corded shut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know if you have any in. vehicle inspection here. Hey, they got a winch in front of that bonder. Uh, not like you guys do. No. They got a what now? Oh, a vehicle safety inspection. Uh, like, do you no, guys have not, it? Yeah, not like that. You gotta get car inspected once a year? Uh -uh. No. What about trucks? Uh, the uh, trucks, I do believe. So we, yeah. well, we don't. Well, you inspect them. I mean, we got a card that says it's been inspected. So yeah. Yeah, we at Pennsylvania make sure they just they did it every six months and they just changed it to a year in February. They changed the rule, finally changed the law to a year. I'd like to hang around another week, Taylor. I think we can talk when pilots into letting us up here. What's up? I <laughs> think we can talk when pilots into letting us up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> Was we supposed to check back in the Ponzi boys? Uh, yeah. Guys, I just wanted to come on here and say thanks for everything. Man, we had a freaking blast and learned a ton. What a logging show. What a trip. But let's start, let me introduce everybody. I'll start on the left. That's Brian, then Paul Stump Jumper, and then Alex and me, and then uh, Jesse. Uh, Brian and Jesse, the guys on the ends, they're GNS, and then Paul, that stunt jumper bitches, and then uh, Alex, that is uh, West Coast Loggers. Thanks, guys. <laughs>